Good evening and welcome to Daily Devotion. My name is Deacon Mindy Bug. I am so glad that you're joining us online. There are additional ways for you to get involved with our church online, and we encourage you to go to our website, which is godamong.us, and there you'll find all kinds of information, including a link entitled ILC Online Activities, where you can find links to our Bible studies, morning devotion times, as well as fellowship and our Sunday morning worship. Immediately following this devotional at about 7.20 this evening, our Bible study on the Gospel of Mark will continue. And whether or not you've been involved so far, we encourage you to join in. The link for that is again on our website under the activities. Well, there is so much that I appreciate having learned from my parents. I imagine that most of you feel the same towards your parents or maybe your grandparents or aunts and uncles. There are lessons that come to us from the life experiences or the faith of our elders, which then turns out to form who we become as adults and as citizens. Something that has been on my heart most recently is what my mom would say about people whom I didn't particularly get along with. As a child, I would maybe say that I hated someone or that I wished them harm of some type. Not my most stellar moments as a child. To which my mom would insist that hating anyone was wrong. We are not to hate other people, period. The associated lesson then was that I could not wish or inflict harm on them because of my feelings towards them. Hurting someone as a result of a disagreement or out of anger was not acceptable behavior, period. It went so far as to include hurtful words not being allowed. Now, this didn't mean that I couldn't be angry or that I couldn't defend myself, but it did mean that I was supposed to be in control of my emotions and to work to resolve conflicts without inciting aggression or violence. I've backed down from a lot of fights in my life. I've also stood up to a lot of bullies in my life. The results for those relationships have been mixed, but I can say that my actions at the time were warranted and appropriate to the situation. Figuring out what is warranted and appropriate may not always appear to be a clear choice at times. I bring this up because lately I've been struggling with the civil unrest our country continues to experience. It's a heartbreaking reality that our fellow citizens may be mistreated, injured, and even killed at the hands of those they should be able to trust. It's also a heartbreaking reality when we see police officers mistreated, injured, and even killed at the hands of citizens who feel they have some right to act out their anger by implementing vigilante justice as retaliation. It breaks my heart to see businesses burned and livelihoods destroyed out of anger and rage, all being taken out on people who have not personally hurt anyone. So my heart has been breaking lately. It makes me feel like our world is too broken and the work to repair it seems to be out of my reach. But then I'm reminded of this passage from 1 Peter. Now the New Revised Standard Version says this in 1 Peter 3, verse 9. Do not repay evil for evil or abuse for abuse. But on the contrary, repay with a blessing. Now the same verse 
plus a few more. In the message version, puts it this way. No retaliation, no sharp-tongued sarcasm. Instead, bless. That's your job, to bless. You'll be a blessing and also get a blessing. Whoever wants to embrace life and see the day fill up with good, here's what you do. Say nothing evil or hurtful. Snub evil. Cultivate good. Run after peace for all your worth. Run after peace for all you are worth. Peace is what we all hope for. Working for peace involves learning about problems and addressing them. Working for peace involves each of us. In our words, in our actions, in our prayers for others, we should be running for peace. To do that, we can't run away from a problem. We cannot pretend it will get better without our voice and just let someone else deal with it. This world is our responsibility. God's creation was left in our care. It includes our brothers and sisters of every race and ethnicity. The world can be changed for better or worse, as I see it. I want better. As followers of Jesus Christ, we are called to snub evil wherever we find it and to work for good. Let us not forget that call. Let us not blindly pick sides and point fingers and incite harm on others out of anger or our pride. Search for the good and live it out each day. God can and will work through you, and good will prevail. Let's pray together. Loving and merciful God, it seems the world is in turmoil these days, and that turmoil can reside in our hearts and minds as well, causing us to lose sight of the call you give us to spread love and peace. May our example and our words be worthy of the attention of others so that love and peace might be instilled in their hearts. May your grace lead us to always care for others, loving them as we love ourselves. All this we ask in the name of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Good night and have a wonderful remainder of your evening. God bless.